Grab your MXQ S805. Mine's in the cupboard for some reason. Dust it down, and I want to show you how to set up Scotty Rec. Obviously, just make sure you've installed it first using our tutorial from the other day. Anyway, my name's Matthew. Let's get started. So welcome to Scotty Rec. So I want to be showing you how to do the initial setup of the system. There is a few things to do, so let's get started. So when you first load up Scotty Rec, you will be presented with the standard Libra Rec welcome screen. You can just scroll, scroll through this. So right now would be a good idea to actually insert a controller. So I recommend an Xbox 360 controller. Now mine's a wired one as well. It doesn't matter too much if it's an aftermarket one, mine's an afterglow, because they are all generally the same. Now click a button and then Cody will ask you to set it up. And we can click on yes. And then we can proceed to now setting up the controllers. Now your controller is set up. Now the next thing I need you to do, I need you go to go down to add-ons and I need you to go to retroarch. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be doing something called a setup of the configuration file. Now this sounds more complicated than it is. All I need you to do is click open. So just click the A button or whatever you've got to actually open up the actual program. And that's all I need you to do. Now just go down to quit retroarch and we can return back to Cody, but it, what it will do is it will actually return us to emulation station. So we'll come back to emulation station in a bit. Just press quit and what will happen is it will just reload Cody. So every time you shut down RetroArch, if you're in there for whatever reason, it will shut down to emulation station. Now that's done, what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down to add-ons again. And then in here we've got the Scotty Rec IARL Setup Wizard. Click into there. And then scroll down to Scott Rec Wizard Builds. And go right to the bottom where it goes Scotty Rec Wizard Standard Install. And then click yes to install. And then let that download. It will only take a few minutes, but depending on your connection. So now that it's installed, all you need to do now is just click force close. And that will, will basically reload Cody. This may take a few minutes as well, just to complete. But now you'll notice... Now you're back into Cody, you have your sound again, if you hadn't noticed before. So this wizard reinstalls the sound drivers, etc. It's just one of the little things that are part of this actual setup. So, you'll notice that we have Internet Archive ROM launcher, and we'll get to that just in a second. Before we do that, I want to go back into RetroArch, because I want to set up my controller. Then I'm going to show you around the Internet Archive ROM launcher. So let's go over to this settings here and go down to input. So here we start here, then we go over and then go down to input. And let's go down to use input user binds one. And then you'll notice your joypad will probably be showing up here binds the Afterglow AX1 gamepad for the Xbox 360. And we go down to start here, user one B button. So click on there with our keyboard or our remote control, whichever we're using to actually control this. Click on here and then press B button. Then click again, Y button. Then the select button. And you get the, you get the idea now. Now we can quit RetroArch now. And obviously it's going to set up into emulation station. We've got nothing in emulation station just yet. So we can quit there. Use your keyboard or your thing. Because we haven't obviously set up our room. 
our joypad in em emulation station just yet. And now let's go down to add-ons and let's load up Internet Archive ROM Launcher. So this system is going to allow you to pretty much play a myriad of different systems. As you can see, there's absolutely loads here. And you can spend all day having a look through all of these different things. I'm going to be showing you right now how to actually launch your very first game. Now we've set up our joypad. So let's go down to something nice and simple. Let's go to N64. And we'll just click on this here and it will load up a selection of random games. Might take a while to actually load up because we've got to remember it's going to have to build the list from archive.org. So I've scrolled through the list a little bit and I've found Turok. So let's load this up. Now you've got two options. You can click download and what that will do is it will just simply download the game into a, the download folder and you can launch it later on in RetroArch. Or if you just want to crack on with it, just click launch and it will download it and then launch the game straight away. So it might take a few minutes just to download it depending on your connection but N64 tend to be quite small files about 10 meg each something like that so here we go it's nearly downloaded it all now now it's done that it's going to launch the game so here we have uh, Turok's launched and as you can see it's actually playing not too bad for an N64 game you'll find some N64 games that don't play that great like GoldenEye but this one isn't too bad so let's try and play the game now. Let's go to start. Start game. Go. That is Turok. So the controllers, I think, could do a bit further configuration. But apart from that, it's a okay, and as you can see, it's running pretty well. A few graphical glitches to be expected, but certainly playable. And I'm sure you're probably be better at this than me. Right, let's let's shut this down now. This will go straight back to Cody when you're using Internet Archive ROM Launcher. So you can actually set it up to escape using your joypad, or it's just the escape key on your keyboard. Now if we go into Emulation Station, load this up. Because there's a game there now, it will allow you to set up your joypad so you can control Emulation Station. So just hold down the A button if you're using an Xbox 360 and then press up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y. And there we go. And this is the actual skin. You can actually change your skin if we go to UI settings and then theme and then comic book and we'll come out with that and you can change it to that. So the more systems you've got games for, so in when you're in the Internet Archive ROM Launcher, the more games you download for different systems, it will then eventually display different setups, different systems. So it'll say PlayStation, and it'll say Mega Drive, you know, I'm sure you get, understand what I'm talking about. But for now, I've only got the one Nintendo 64 game, so it's only going to display that. And then I can launch it straight from this system, and it displays like that. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. I think I've showed you pretty much the basic setup of how to set up the system, basically. Hopefully it's helped you get started with Scottelec. Thanks for watching, guys. You'll be watching another video by the MSU Project. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. It would be a tremendous help to us. And, of course, don't forget to check out the website, mxuproject.com, and the Facebook group as well. As well as that, we've got the Twitter account as well, the at MXQProject. Thanks again, and we shall see you very, very soon.